Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We talk about one important effect that is founder effect which is an example of genetic drift. So what what is this effect all about? It says that small in numbers of individuals from a larger population establish a new population such that the new population may have different genotypes and phenotypes. So let us try to understand the founder effect using this simple diagram. So this picture on the left represents the original population. So this represents the original population. Now inside this original population, you might have smaller groups like different types of different types of genes, different type of people with different genotypes and phenotypes would have formed this population, the original one. Now from this population, if small number of individuals come out and they establish a new population, like if you see here, few individuals, the red individuals, they came out and they formed a new population here. The blue ones, they came out and they formed another population here. And few blues and reds together, they formed again another population. So basically all these three populations, the smaller populations which have formed, these are called the founder populations. And that is why this effect is called founder effect. Now, when you look at the overall original population, so this original population might have different genotypes and phenotypes. But when you look at these founder populations, they again have different phenotypes and genotypes. So if you look at the red ones, so their phenotype is only red and the shape is square. So red squares. So that's the phenotype. When you talk about this founder population, so the phenotype is uh, circular blue. But when you talk about the original population, it has both red and blue, it has both circular and squares. Right? So what I'm trying to say is when you have a bigger population, now small groups or small number of individuals from that bigger population, they come out and they establish a new population such that the phenotype and genotype of the new population is different from the original one. So this effect is called founder effect. Now why did we call this founder effect? Why founder? Now, now in founder effect we talk about the founder mutations which refers to the mutations that appears in the DNA of individuals which are founders of a specific population. Like in this case these are the founders of this original population. So why are they founders? Because some mutations would have happened in these founders because of which there were I mean, the changes seen in DNA of individuals and that's how you know they kind of segregated into new smaller populations with different genotypes and phenotypes. Now let's look at another effect which is called the bottleneck effect which is also an example of genetic drift. So what happens in bottleneck effect? Now all of us know that natural disasters like flood or earthquake can greatly reduce the population because during a flood or an earthquake huge number of individuals in the population die. So the population reduces greatly. Now when the population reduces what happens? The genetic variability also reduces that is the reduced genetic variability in a population due to severe reduction in the population. Now when the population reduces what happens let's say let, let me give you a very simple example let's say that this was the original population where maybe 100 people lived so this is just a, a rough data just to make you understand what is the meaning of bottleneck effect so let's say there were 100 individuals living in this particular area now let's say that there was a very severe very heavy flood because of which 80 people died so how many people are now left in this the same area so now you just have 20 people now when you had 100 people before the genetic variability was more because you had 100 people so 100 people had some changes or some varieties some new varieties in their genes so the variety that you have genetically was more but now that you have only 20 people so obviously your genetic variability is also less because you have the total number of people itself is less so there were obviously the variety of genes that you have that is also less so when your population reduces a lot then there is a reduction in the genetic variability also and what causes reduction of the population mostly the natural disasters now what happens is among the survivors some alleles are lost 
some get overrepresented while others get underrepresented for example out of these 20 people who are left over so maybe some alleles are lost like out of these 20 people let's say there were some some alleles which represented short height let's say short out all these 20 people who survived they were all tall right so none of them was short so basically the allele which represented the shortness that allele itself is lost right so that could be a scenario where some alleles are lost there could be a scenario where some allele get over represented for example let's say out of these 20 some 17 of them are tall and some three of them are short but then later in the next generations it is seen that the tall trait is getting over represented that means the tall trait is getting expressed in most of the people similarly the short trait is not getting represented or it is not getting expressed in most of the people so there is a possibility now since you have very fewer number of people there are chances that some alleles will be lost some will be expressed too much some will not get expressed at all so why is this called bottleneck effect because you can understand the concept of this effect with this example of a bottle which is filled with small balls so let's say that you have a bottle of this shape where you you have a prominent part of neck of the bottle so this is the neck of the bottle which is quite prominent as you see here now you fill this bottle with small balls like this now let's say once you have filled the entire bottle with balls now you want to take the balls out of the bottle now what happens you see that only the balls which are present in this part in the very front part they are able to come out of the bottle the rest of them are stuck why right? because the size of the balls are like not very small that you know they can actually pass this bottleneck that is they are not able to pass through the neck of the bottle so what's happening all of these balls get stuck inside the bottle so how many could come out a very few of them could come out so the same thing is happening in happening here also so whenever a natural disaster happens the population gets reduced greatly for example here th this was the total the total number of balls inside the bottle let's say it's 100 so that means 100 was the original population now when you try to get them inside another beaker so inside this beaker how many balls could you get you could hardly get some five six balls so basically what happened your population has reduced from 100 to five or six so this is a great reduction in the population and because of this similarity with this example it is called a bottleneck effect thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you